Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. For many years now, we have been talking about what is happening on the Earth currently. Not specifics, but in general, a shift of energy that would affect everyone. Everyone on the planet in some way starts to understand things have changed. And not just that is in, which is in your culture. They've, they've changed worldwide. And if you take a look, you'll see that the new normal is here. We spoke those words, the new normal, many, many years ago, before anyone started using it anywhere. But we saw that as something that would be different for you. But we saw it in a light that the change before you would result in a grander earth. Now this has always been the controversy. The controversy of almost any of those who would watch this particular program or have followed any of the channelings I've ever given. The controversy is this. How is it possible, Cryon, that you could say that this planet is receiving light when you take a look at what's going on? And so for those of you who perhaps are new to this entire concept, I have spoken of the shift that the ancients have predicted, and it's here. It is not from Cryon. It's astronomy. It has to do with the Mayan calendar. It has to do with all those all over the planet for hundreds, if not thousands of years, who saw this coming in the precession of the equinoxes, and it's here. Some of you have related that to the 2012 experience. It's bigger than that. It's a 36-year window of change, of shift, and it's here. You're in the heart of it now. And all of this, dear ones, is the result of a changing consciousness because light will win. But light will win, and in the process, as it starts showing itself, that which is negative, that which is old, that which is the old way of things will object. And it's objecting right now. You see that. There are those who want to pull you backwards. And this isn't just going to be that which you see between countries perhaps on the world seed at the moment. It's internal even. There are arguments within yourself. How do you like the new normal? How are you doing with the new normal? Did anything happen in the recent year or so that you lost friends over? Were there arguments? Were there angers that you didn't expect? All of these part of the tests that are here. When light starts to occur, how do you treat it? Well, I want to speak to something that is regarding the purity of all of this that is lurking under the cover of all that you see going on in the planet, and it's for all souls who are studying this and you know what I'm talking about. This is for you, old soul. I'm going to call this series of channelings for this month, which is available to all of you for free. The audios are there on my partner's website. They will be produced for everyone. These four they're going to be called planting and harvesting the seeds of our time. Let me make this premise clear. What if on this planet you were a farmer? And what if you did your best to plant and harvest on a regular basis, but suddenly something occurs that you'd never seen before? That spring uh, that does more things than it ever has done, that planting time does more things than it ever has done, that harvest time. Suddenly, that which you expected in the, in, in, the, in the plentifulness that you would have had all of your lives for the crops that you plant is doubled or even tripled. Think of this, that on that playing field of what you would call, I would say, agriculture, that it all changes because the planting time is more profound. The harvesting time is more profound. It's almost like 
the, the weather changed on the earth that let, let, let you grow things that you never were able to grow before and faster. That is the metaphor right now for what's going on with the old soul. You are being given seeds. Then the seeds that you're being given right now are for you to plant and harvest in a very fast return that you've never seen before. You're still in an old energy where you go someplace and expect a result instantly. I need this. I need that. Well, let's talk about one kind of seed. There will be many, and I'm going to extend this into the circle of 12. This planet, you, your life, everyone around you, needs to start seeing and recognizing benevolence. Benevolent change in the way things are, the way they work, the reactions to people, a higher consciousness. I want you physically to see those seeds that have been planted in you as an old soul that you came in with now suddenly are released. I want you to visualize, if you choose, something that every child has seen. You punch a seed into the ground, you cover it with dirt, and you water it. And in your case, those seeds are the seeds of high consciousness on this planet. That you alone can visualize putting them into a wet earth, perhaps, and covering them with dirt and rich soil. And watching them start to germinate and grow instantly. And you water them with intent, with love, compassion, kindness. And when they start to grow, along with all the other old souls that are doing the certain, that certain thing, this planet is going to see that they represent the food of truth. And you're going to start understanding that the harvest from them will start to be seen not in months, not in even weeks, but almost instantly. These are multidimensional seeds. And they're of a kind that I want you to see as something new for you in your life. That you came in with this, but now you can plant them. And you can plant them figuratively, metaphorically, anywhere you wish to. But as you plant them in one place, they harvest everywhere. That was the subject, was it not, of the questions of the day that my partner and his partner just took for you. A seed that is planted will harvest everywhere, even though you punch it into the ground, perhaps even in your own life. Start to visualize if you wish to. Start to think about if you wish to. A planet where benevolence starts to occur. And the benevolence, benevolence is a result of the light that is coming in, that so many are afraid of because it's causing so many problems. It's not causing the problems. It's just exposing what was already there. You see any, any agendas that might have been advanced because the light is coming? Yes. Have you seen anything else that you think happened randomly on this planet, including diseases or what, that may have actually had a source that you didn't expect because the light was there? Anything to slow up the planet because the light is coming. Have you seen it? This may start making more sense to you metaphysically, dear ones. That maybe the things that have started happening since 2020 They had something else going on, a result of a little too much light on the planet to push you backwards, to make you angry, to make you afraid, to make you fearful. It won't work because light will show through all of this. But now you understand you are carrying the seeds that can be planted. Think of it that way and you won't feel useless. Think of it that way. Is there something I can do for the planet? Yes. Start pushing those seeds into the ground and visualizing benevolence 
everywhere you walk, everywhere you are. Benevolence in every system on the planet starts to arrive. That's what old souls do. It's time to sow those seeds. It's time to push them into the ground. This is the shift. I am crying in love with humanity. And so it is.